Well, since, since COVID hit, since we started to um, learn about it and, and realize that it was coming to our neck of the woods and, and I was starting to read about what other stores were doing, um, some stores were like closing their doors and doing curbside only. And I was considering, and we were talking, having meetings and talking about shutting the doors, doing curbside. We, we did all these new policies where we were doing additional cleaning and distancing and um, sanitizer everywhere and hand washing everywhere. Um, and so of course we're, we're still doing all those things. Um, but, but I think um, we were very blessed and fortunate to be in a situation where we're in grocery and our, our industry was deemed essential. It was deemed um, necessary and, and it was also in something that was in demand. Um, being a health food store and people starting to realize that uh, maybe I should take care of my health a little more. Um, so, you know, we, things have been good business-wise. We've been um, fortunate. I, I, my heart goes out to those who, who have been really hurt by this, who have lost their businesses, who have lost jobs, who have, you know, gotten in bad ways. And, um, you know, we certainly want to try to support all of our local businesses the best we can. Our community has been so incredibly supportive through this time. Um, it's amazing. Um, we've done we've done curbside delivery, um, and we we launched we quickly launched a curbside delivery program and an online shopping program, which were things that we weren't necessarily wanting to push real hard because of the amount of work it took away from our core focus, but this pandemic made completely necessary, and so we quickly launched a curbside delivery and, and web cart um, online shopping system. So that's available to customers who don't wanna come in or, um, and so we're catering to that. And it's been wildly successful. Our customers have been hugely supportive and thankful. Um, and um, I just wanna thank our community for that um, and our customers. We live in a really amazing place where people are, um, you know, just really getting behind one another. And I think the advice I would give to other businesses, you know, I, I feel like, um, from what I've seen in our community, everybody's doing a really good job. Um, everybody's um, following the, the guidelines that have been put forth by the regulating agencies and, and everybody's doing the best they can to keep their distance, to wash their hands, to wear face coverings. Um, I, I think for, for us, specifically at Nature's Pantry, where, where we really fit, where we're different than other businesses, is that our mission is to lead people to vibrant health. And, and so we believe that there are some fundamental health habits and health principles that we can practice that will not only strengthen our natural defenses against short-term disease like COVID and against long-term chronic diseases, but we, we believe these can not only help in the short term, but also lead to long-term vibrant health. And, and so that's where we really tried to focus. We, we're of course doing all the things we can to be safe, to uh, apply distancing, to apply hand washing, cleaning, you know, all the guidelines. But that's where, where we really feel like educating people on those fundamentals of health is so important right now. And, and what we do, our mission has really been heightened and our focus on our mission has really been um, just strengthened and reinvigorated and refocused. And we're doing, um, one thing that we've been doing during this time is health challenges. We call them the Vibrant You Health Challenge. And we're actually about to launch one of those. The deadline to register is tomorrow, actually, Wednesday. Um, and we're gonna launch this thing off. It's a four week challenge that, you know, it's not about, it's not about a quick fix or a fad diet. It's about establishing the fundamental health habits that can lead to strengthened immune system now and vibrant health for life.